Alright then, hello and welcome back to GT Legends and the next championship in Cup Stage D is of course the Jag Sprint Series. I did lower the laps, it was I think 5 laps for this one but I put it down to 3 because there's going to be 5 races anyway. So it just keeps it a little bit shorter and it saves me a bit of hassle editing. Um, there's also a lot more championships coming up, we've got the Auto Bianchi A112 Series, Ford Escort RS Cup, BMW 2800 Trophy and the BMW 1600 Championship as well among all of these. So there's still a lot to go through. Um, if you do want to put your name down for these championships, as always, I will put the numbers available for the cars um, for the next championship, so put your name down, I'll add you into the game. Uh, except for episode 50, which is going to be the special event, I do have the template for this car, so you can pick your own colour, your own car number, this, that and the other, you know, all that good stuff. Um, there's also a glitch in the matrix as well, it shows that I've completed both of these championships, which I haven't, while deleting some of the ones that I'd already done, um, yeah, this happened, so I don't know, it's just GT Legends being GT Legends. Anyway, we'll go through these drivers in numerical order, there's only going to be seven cars on the grid, so six uh, other drivers apart from myself. So in car number one is Aqua Ace in the uh, iconic Jaguar green and white livery. In car number four is the Motor Machine of Scott Barnes. Uh, newcomer to the series in car number five is Chris Avati. I think that is how you uh, pronounce your name. Uh, but yes, in car number five, in the Leyland machine. Then we have in car number seven, the JPS colors is uh, Piot GT. Then we have Marty Andrews in car number 22 in the Michelin Jaguar green and white. And then in car number 44, another green and white machine, it is Breno Oliveira. And I'm going to be in car number two because it is the very, very iconic silk cut cigarette livery of uh, the Jag, which also ran at the Le Mans 24 hours back in the day. So, yeah, there we go. They are the runners and riders then. Uh, six opponents, seven cars on the grid, starting at Donington Park National. And here we are then. So qualifying has been concluded, and newcomer Chris Avati, or Chris Ovati, uh, did take pole position. Piot GT alongside row one, row two, Scott Barnes, Aqua Ace, and row three, Breno Oliveira and Marty Andrews. I am starting at the back in seventh. Um, I've edited the points as well, so the points go down to seventh place. Um, but it's going to make it a bit tighter in the championship because you get seven points for a win, six for a second, fifth for a third, and so on and so forth. So seven all the way down to one. So it's going to be keeping it close like it did with the uh, prior championship but anyway let's get this first race then underway and here we go then for race number one the sun is setting around Donington now these cars are incredibly difficult to handle they do like to understeer and oversteer in equal measure oh and a very short pause for the lights and away we go Not the best of starts. Missing the gear there as well. Got to be so careful with these machines. Oh, oh and you can see there's already a bit of bumping and boring. It's car number four. Had a bit of a coming together. Going to keep it in third. So it sets me up for McLean's. Stay off the grass. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Behave. Ain't missing a gear. break exceptionally early just so I can make it around the chicane Ooh. all right lap one complete two to go and being overtaken by Scott Barnes in number four see even the AI are almost losing it going around the turns Piot GT is taking the lead away from Chrysovity. Oh, yeah, that's going to happen. Of course it is. Downshift. Let's go very carefully. And I'm back down to last place. 
So even increasing the steering lock to make my life a little easier. These cars don't really have any steering lock. They're just, um, yeah, they're just there. All right, get around coppice. In fact, I think I can safely say that these are the worst handling cars that I've uh, played on this game. I think this is not the greatest mod. But there we go. Starting the final lap. Hopefully we might be able to get a place back. I'll get back down into second. No, you don't. But when you see the AI and their tires are belting out smoke, that means that their cars are very unstable as well. So at least I'm not the only one that is having difficulties getting around these tighter corners. I'll get it around. There we go. So it looks like race number one is going to be a bit of a dud. I'm going to finish last. Oh, don't spin it. There we go. Yeah, that is... <laughs> Can you imagine if I kept the lap counter at five? That would have been uh, a bit of a pain in the backside, but come on. There we go. Race number one is complete, and we finish last. PLGT gets a win. Newcomer Chris Oversey gets second place. Scott Barnes gets third, and my driver has decided to just crash the car and bring out the yellow flag at the very end. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so the, the AI has a bit of issue controlling the car when the race ends. But anyway, let's have a look at the points then. And as you can see, 7654321 is the point standings at the moment. Nothing to read home about. That is exactly where everyone finished for race one. And we'll move on to Mondello Park for race two. So qualifying has been sorted, and this is the grid rundown then. Piot GT is on pole. Breno alongside on row number one. Aqua Ace and Marty Andrews line up on row two. And Scott Barnes, Chris Offerty on row three. I'm starting, of course, at the back in seventh. And here we go then. Let's so hope we have better fortunes here than we had at Donington. Though I highly doubt it. Lights coming on. We'll creep a little bit. And away we go. And everyone again slamming on their brakes. They always do at Mondello Park for some weird reason. Slow it down. Oh, don't spit. Oh, for goodness sake. That was not intentional. Sorry about that. It's just that the brakes and the uh, steering of these cars are pretty damn atrocious. It's like very squishy brakes. You have to put your foot through the floor. And the car might slow down if it decides it wants to. If not, you're in uh, for a hard luck day, I think. Oh, stop trying to spin. We got the inside line on uh, Marty. Oh no. Slow down. God, my. The brakes are awful. Don't downshift and let off the brake immediately, otherwise the car will lock up the rears. We just got away with that. A 
fuel light is flashing because I only put like five laps worth of fuel in. Try and keep the weight down as much as possible. Final lap. Well, luckily Breno has managed to, uh, well, he's, I think he's a little bit pissed that I spun him because he has now got the fastest lap time and has already got past Chris Overty for uh, sixth place. Slow early for the corner. I'm going really slow, but then I'm just a bit nervous with these cars. Yeah, all right. You can see just the the chronic understeer of these machines is just absolutely awful. Definitely the worst cars I think I've driven. Second only to the DAFs, I believe. Right, come on. Last corner. Oh, no you don't. Marty Andrews gets third at the line. You cheeky little git. Well, I suppose that's what happens when I uh, push someone out of the way at the very start of the race. But yeah, fourth place, though, that's not bad. Could have been third. I think my uh, line at the end was just a bit crap. But anyway, uh, so Piot GT gets uh, another victory. Scott Barnes and Marty Andrews, the top three. So this is a point so far then. Piot GT leads away 14 points to 11. And then there is a three-way tie for third between uh, Chris Offerty, Aqua Ace and Marty Andrews on seven. And another tie between myself and Breno. So we're going to head to race number three. Is of course Anderstort North. So here is the lineup then for race number three. Piot GT gets another pole position with Scott Barnes alongside. Chris Offerty and Marty Andrews row two and row three Aqua Ace Breno Oliveira. I will iterate as well as that all the talent files are identical so there is no one driver with any advantage over anybody else. So because Piot is winning and uh, getting pole positions that is purely from the RNG that the game gives to each driver. So some drivers do badly, some drivers do well. It's not Anything that I've done is completely out of my control. So anyway, let's get on then with race three. All right, this one should be uh, another mess. Lights are on. Nobody's home. I'm going to creep a little bit and the race begins. Let the understeering commence. Probably dive up the inside from this sharp right hander. A lap complete. Piot GT still leads away at the moment. Scott Barnes and Chris Overty, the top three. But we're off. That's Aqua Ace behind. That, up. that corner is bloody horrible. Really do not like that corner at all. Oh, come on. Right, last lap. We might not be last this time. Which would be a, a Christmas miracle. If the car will ever turn. Look at that understeering garbage. 
Sorry, Aqua, but I want to take this position back, so excuse me. Or not. I'll take it back here then. Saw you. And I just got nudged out of the way. And again. Oh, I got a warning for cutting the track. Yeah, okay, thanks for that. And there we go, race over, and I was bullied out of fifth place at the very end, which is uh, to be expected. Anyway, Piot GT gets another victory, Scott Barnes and Chris Overty, the top three. So let's see what this does then to the championship standings, with two races to go. And 21-17, it's still very close at the top there, uh, so anything can happen still. Um, I don't think third on down will have much luck. Especially myself and Breno, but anyway. So we'll go on to the next event, which it shows Imola, but is in fact Mallory Park. And here we are then for the race. Qualifying has been sorted. Marty Andrews gets pole position this time. Scott Barnes, Chris Overty again in third. Aqua Ace, Breno Oliveira, and Piot GT starting in sixth. So again, it's just the fortunes of this game, the RNG, and uh, yeah, I don't understand it. Uh, the same happens with all the Simbin games. It's very strange. But uh, anyway, Mallory Park then. Let's get this one underway. It shouldn't last that long. Uh, I don't know if the lights are coming on. And away we go. Ah, the lights were there, but they were just hidden behind the other Jag, who gets a stonking start. Oh, someone's gone wide. Oh, who spun? That was Scott Barnes. Oh, you have to slow down for these courts. It's awful. Oh, and Piot spun as well. This track only favours the brave, it seems. And, um, Aqua Ace has just rolled. Okay, then. It's gonna be one of those races, I think. Survival of the fittest, last man standing. Right, I'm just gonna play it safe, then, and go around these corners at a very slow pace, because another one's spun. That is Breno. Excuse me, I'm just going to power slide around the outside, don't mind me, or the inside, sorry. Ooh, don't you dare. Yellow flags are out in this section, of course. Because we have Aqua Ace doing his best Turtoys impression. I'm in the lead, apparently. Um, how that happened, I have no idea. I didn't see the other drivers spinning. Not unless they just <laughs> all spun on the, uh, the same corner. I don't know. Oh. Come on. So this is now a battle between myself and newcomer Chris Offerty. I want a victory, please. Yellow flags are still out. To be expected, there is a car on its roof. But no safety cars because this is, you know... Back what it was used to be like back in the day. A car roll. Nope, the race continued. Safety was always second. And... Out of pure luck and the uh, the daftness of the AI, I get my first victory. Chris Offerty gets second, um, who spins at the end as well. Um, yeah, so we're just waiting now on the other drivers, wherever they finished. Uh, yeah, we'll just finish the race. And there we go then. So, uh, Marty Andrews was third in the end. Breno Oliveira, Scott Barnes, Piot GT, and Aqua Ace retired. 
because he rolled his car. So let's go to the points. And there we go. PLGT still leads away at the moment, but only by uh, three points. I've moved up and uh, anything can happen still. We've got one race to go. And that is coming from Cadwell Park. And here we are then for the final time. And someone is going to come out of here, a champion, but I still don't know who it is yet. It's not going to be me because I'm nowhere near the points lead. Um, but Chris Oversee does get their debut pole position in their uh, first championship of their career. Aqua Ace alongside row number one. Breno Oliveira and Marty Andrews row two. Piot GT, Scott Barnes at row three. And I'm starting at the back as always. And here we go then for the final time. Someone's going to walk out of here a champion. No idea who it's going to be yet, though. Lights are on, and... Off we go. A lot of arging and barging going on. Oh, don't spin it. Keep it together. Well done. I swear, this car and this track combination is the worst combination. It is just bloody awful. This track is way too tight. These cars are way too naff and hardly handle. As they should. As you can see, the understeer is just diabolical. Come on. Come on, don't understeer off. Well, a cracking start though from the newcomer, Chris Offerty, leading Aqua Ace and Breno. Oh, this part of the track I hate. Oh, I can't believe I slowed it down enough. Oh, now there's a tussle between the lead between Aqua and Chris. And Aqua does get the win on this one. That's still early days. I will try and dive up the inside. Put it back in a second, please. That'll help. Lap two. Oh, no. And there we go. My word, these cars. These cars are definitely something else. When the AI are having this much difficulty keeping them on the circuit, you know you got problems. Good for me that I'm in second, so hooray. Oh my god, don't spin. I just gotta take it very carefully through this section as well because I don't want to go up the scenery and roll the car. Put it in the second this time though so I don't forget. Right, last lap. Aqua looks like he's on course for a victory. All those skid marks. Not good. Come on. Oh, come on. Bloody machine. No! You are not taking my second place, Marty. I refuse to accept that. Oh, I tried to dive bomb it. 
Didn't work. Thankfully, it didn't spin Marty out. Otherwise, I would have been a bit disgusted with myself for using such disgusting tactics. Come on, keep oh, keep it together, you stupid machine. Recalcitrant piece of crap. Get a move on. Uh, well, third place, that's better than nothing, I suppose. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, so... Third, apparently, no one else finished the race yet. <laughs> Everyone is still apparently racing. Um, yeah, this track is a bit bugged, I think. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, but Aqua Ace does get the victory then. Marty Andrews and myself, then uh, newcomer Chris Offerty, Piot GT, Scott Barnes and Breno for the final runners. Let's have a look then. Who is going to be champion for the JAG series? And it is Piot GT. Eventually, it does get the championship win by uh, four points, so that is not too bad. But saying that, there was a three-way tie for second overall between uh, Chris Offerty, Scott Barnes, and Marty Andrews, all on 22. And I get third in the championship, so that isn't too bad at all. So I will take that. Um, so yeah, we'll finish the challenge, but... Yeah, there we go then. So the Auto Bianchi A112 series is coming up next. So uh, I'll put down the numbers available for that one. Um, in fact, I do have the template. So pick your own numbers and pick your own colors, whatever you want your car to be, and I will get on with it. So um, yeah, there we go. That is it for me uh, for now. And I will see you all next time then for the Auto Bianchi A112 championship. So take care, stay safe. I'll see you then. Bye for now.